and stuff like that. Yeah, so, there it is. And wow. uh, I've I've kept this shirt forever. Six bucks to get in and see you guys, and and actually every day I think it was like six bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was just amazing, and it was so fun. Was that was just, great. Yeah, that was a that was a heady time. I think that was when we had uh, Jack and Ron from TSOL come out and play with us. And that's right. And I'm like, I don't need to be here. I did a stage dive. <laughs> yeah. Hey, and that's when you could still have a mosh pit. The mosh pit was still yeah. alive. Yeah. yeah, that was that was a lot of fun, man. That was it's and you know I don't buy concert T-shirts unless it's a fun show or or I, I remember something from it. So I had to get one before I, I bolted out of there. But that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, uh, it's good to see you guys. Are you everybody healthy and and stuff like that? Knock wood. Yeah, we're doing really good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. You look great. That's good. Saw the uh, the press photos. You guys look respectable. That's our. That's what we were going for. Is that what it was? <laughs> yeah, res respectable. Yeah, that's, I know. That's always, that's always eluded I, us. I had such a great history seeing you guys live. It's it's just been so much fun going to your shows, uh, going all the way back to, to this show. Um, I I was in Portland uh, when a lot of the the big stuff was happening with Smash and stuff like that. So saw a lot of the shows there at the Roseland and um, I think La Luna um yeah. in portland there and and it's just been great we um, go way back with you guys I, I i with you i think we have a mutual yep. friend in mike jacobs right we do. yeah absolutely I, I still know mike and and his kid now is a powerhouse in the industry david, yeah well. yeah david and you know he was around some of those shows too as, as a kid so i remember him sitting on the side of the stage yeah i think we've got pictures of of him with my daughter on the side of the yeah. stage yeah. kids so i mean yeah you're right and you know we, we did a lot of shows and uh, the station i was uh at then you know super heavy with the offspring i mean it just it fit what we were doing perfectly uh mm -hmm. so i mean it was it was it was a natural and it was so great seeing you guys come up and i i love the fact you guys put out a new record it's awesome thank you yeah we're we're pretty happy with, about it we're we're hoping the fans are too yeah they're waiting for it as far as uh, yeah. the people that i've talked to and, and you guys have uh bob rock again yeah yeah we've been working with bob uh, this is the third record we've we've done mm -hmm. with him and uh, Bob's great. Can't can't say yeah. enough good, good things about him. We just have such a great relationship with him. We just we come in here in the studio and just hang out and make music. Is that where you recorded it? That studio you're at right now? It is. Yeah, it this is. is our studio in Huntington Beach. It's just a, a small place, but mm -hmm. uh, you can really do it all in, in in your own studio now. Is it all digital? You, you guys don't do analog stuff anymore. Is it all, it's all I mean, digital? it's a, it's it's kind of a combination. Yeah. I, I think yeah. there's always going to be a digital side to it you want to try to make it sound as good as you can which sometimes is analog or um a lot of times you know the vin the vintage stuff sounds the best yeah I, I think so too and by the way are you guys going to release an actual cd we or are you are Dude, awesome. yeah. we're, we're we're putting out cassettes we're going yeah, really time yeah <laughs> shut up <laughs> Yeah, like a thousand of them, I guess. The the, the <laughs> label okayed it. Really, I still I've got a truck out in the parking lot right now with a cassette player in it still. Wow, it's <laughs> an old truck, and I think right now there's a corn cassette in there. But um, <laughs> wow, that's that's, yeah. that's 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 cool. That's that's um that's actually refreshing to hear. It's no nice. eight track, eight track, no eight track. Uh, <laughs> we're asking. Little we're asking. We're, we're, yeah. not, we're, Do you true. guys have an eight track player anywhere? Not for years. No, I don't no, think I ever no. had one. I don't think I ever had a track. I had you uh, never did turntable, of course, and then cassette. Yeah, I did. It was. Chris, I, I only had two tapes. It was Chris Christopherson and Jim Croce. Wow. wow. <laughs> those were my, yeah. my eight tracks. I, Sunday I had morning coming down. <laughs> uh, greatest hits. I, I had uh, oh, PTO yeah. greatest hits and um, flirting with disaster from uh, Molly Hatchet. Wow. A friend of mine who would take us surfing had an A-track, and we had Leonard Skinner, David Bowie, I think Queen. <laughs> yeah. Wow. There was an arch so, of the A-track, right? Because he had to figure out when to flip the track because yeah. you couldn't yeah, fast yeah, forward the line. It, it wasn't an exact science. I mean, you had to, like, know how to get that other side of the four-track on there. Right. Yeah, that was, that so was if you crazy. liked a song, you'd have to flip over to the other side and figure out at what point during that song. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. Second chorus. That's when I can flip over yep. and the song will be starting. Or something yeah. Like yep. that. So like, and hey, that was an art form. I mean, that's lost now. Kid, kids today can't do that. <laughs> but yeah. it, you know, it was it was an art form back then. So you guys still live in in Huntington Beach and and have all your families there and stuff. Yeah. 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 
I still live uh, 15 minutes from, from my folks place. Yeah. Yeah. That's I, I live 15 minutes from my folks too. Uh, do you see them a lot? I mean, do you go and help them out? And Yeah. My dad, it's just my dad now. And, and I do help him quite a bit. Yeah. I was over there. I'm going to take him to get his second vaccination today. There you go. We're done here. Have you guys got yours yet or are you in line for it? Uh, I don't think we're available yet. We're, uh, you know, we're, our, our, uh, what we do is like the last to come back online, I think, you know, cause it depends on crowds. So they're not in a hurry to, to inject us, but <laughs> as soon as we can, yeah. I mean, we're going to be yeah. traveling. So I'm yeah. sure we're going to need I mean, it. Once, once I, we start traveling, we're going to need it. I'm sure to cross borders. I, I consider us essential. I think yeah. so. I do too. <laughs> Unfortunately, the powers feel, that be don't I feel very, essential. don't well, feel I'm yeah. so essential. Yeah. Yeah. Well, with the whole COVID thing, I mean, uh, I mean, that, that was almost, a, a death sentence for bands to go out and, and be in a crowd. I mean, you never know. I mean, that's, that's pretty vicious. And, and, and I, I really miss going to shows, but hey. it could have caused a lot of havoc. Well, I was more worried about my folks, you know, like, you know, my, my dad's 82. Yeah. You know, I, I don't want to get sick, not know I'm sick, hang out with him. Yes, and he, right. he ends up passing. You know, I, I know, I know two people have passed. I know two yep. people that were hospitalized for weeks. Yep. Um, you know, I don't, I don't want to see any more people go through that. No. And, and, you know, I've had that same, that same experience with people who have passed and people who got it and then are now giving them plasma for, for the serum and stuff like that. So, you know, it's, it, it, if you're a band uh, having to go through this, it's, it's gotta be just horrible because that's your, that's your, that's your lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. Fortunately, you know, we also, there's, you know, besides just playing live there's recording and yeah. and you know you know a lot of things we can do get together as a band and just rehearse is is a blast you know could you do cool. that in one room uh we have done it a couple times yeah and lately what we've been doing is we've been shooting videos and and, and recording some some live uh, performances as well um so we did get together we all got tested and mm -hmm. you know wore masks when we weren't uh yeah. you know actually playing together and yeah yeah, well, you know, I, I miss it so much because, and I, you know, I didn't think about it when they were shutting everything down. It's like I went to shows sometimes three, four times a week, and you know, it's and that's all the time. I, I miss that now. And yeah, me too. I haven't been to I haven't been to a show since uh, April, February of last year. I saw a couple of bands in Portland. And then they shut everything down on the night that Tool was supposed to play here. <laughs> we, so. we went out of town and went and saw TSOL play at a small yep, place yep. in Fresno. And that was one of the last things we got to do before it, before it shut down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, and I miss, you guys must miss it. Definitely. Yeah. I got to see the. Bur the what? We're shut down at Alex's bar. It was great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then what, what do you guys have planned for the, the future coming up? I mean, how, how soon do you think you guys can get on the road? As soon as it's safe. I mean, we've got shows scheduled. Hopefully they happen. But if, you know, if we have to postpone them to, to keep people safe, we're not afraid to do that. Yeah. Uh, I think we're, we're starting to, to see things get better. So we're hopeful. Mm -hmm. you know, so fingers crossed. But we're, yeah. we'll, we'll definitely be on the road as soon as it's safe to do that. Do, Looking do forward to have, what, what's the next date you guys have booked that's that's tentative i think in june early oh, june cool. we have Good. a whole a whole thing booked in europe and uh waiting to see if that's going to happen I, I you know i sure hope it will it's it's really out of our hands it, yeah I, what's the protocol over there it's pretty much the same as ours are they ahead of us uh with vaccinations or do you know not sure at this point wow yeah will, will you guys be playing behind like um a big huge <laughs> plastic screen <laughs> everyone's in zorbs we'll be in a giant bubble a plastic yeah. bubble that'd be great well i know i know you guys are, are doing a lot of this stuff today but the new album uh what, when's it actually released i didn't write that date down i know we have april, uh the first april song. 6 yeah april 16 is the release date okay it's uh called let the bad times roll title track for the song we're going to be playing on the air here pretty soon 12 new songs are they all like uh two minutes three minutes no, we've matured into two, <laughs> two minute, 45 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's a mixture for sure. Uh, we've been writing it, you know, some of the songs have been kind of in, in the works for the last, for a few years. And some mm -hmm. of them are just really in the last year or so. Mm -hmm. But and, um, and, 
we're Good. really proud of it. Really anxious to get it out for the people. You know, at, at some point we thought, well, let's just sit and wait this out until the world comes back online. But we uh, just decided to stop waiting. Yeah, and you guys had the time. So I'm, I'm glad you guys could actually get together and, and do that. I mean, made good use of, of downtime. That's awesome. Um, and, and you guys got a new bass player. I don't, I don't know this cat. Yeah, Todd. He's uh, he's great. He's been with us playing uh, guitar and singing backing vocals for over 10 years now, I think. Yeah. Um, and so uh, moving him into the bass position was just easy. He's great. He's, he played uh, in a bunch of bands. He comes from really H2O. Uh, it was a hardcore New York hardcore band or mm -hmm. East Coast hardcore band that pe people probably know him from most. Do you guys still go to shows when yeah, that aren't well, that aren't until yours? until a year ago? Yeah, yeah. Uh, is, yeah. That, is, is that something that's on your regular calendar though? If you see a, a band coming, you'll go out and do that. If I'm at home, yeah, absolutely. Sure. Yeah, nice. there's a couple places. Alex's bar is great. Um, the observatory you. here in Orange County. Uh, my kid a couple years ago started getting into hardcore, and so I was taking him to a bunch of shows. And but now he's more into like hip hop and stuff. So. I don't go to shows with him as much. I'll still go to some of that. But plus, he's well, old enough to go on his own. He doesn't get my uh, What's a hardcore show look like these days? Same. Same. It's really funny. It, yeah, <laughs> it reminds me of when we were starting out. There was this one band I saw. And this kid's, except that he had new equipment. But but it was just <laughs> like mine. But he had like a, a Fender combo amp. And he had a Telecaster that was just feeding back like crazy. Yeah. Microphonically feeding back. Yeah. You know, just, and I'm like, oh, my God. I remember that with my telly. It would just scream, right. you know, through my combo amp. Same. So same. Good for you guys. Well, listen, I appreciate the time today, man. And, and best of luck with everything going forward. Can't wait to see you guys uh, on the road. Um, I really, really appreciate your time. And, and I hope you guys all stay uh, healthy and, and safe, man. Thanks. Thank, thank you. you. Good yeah, seeing you, you again. You too. Good. You're out there. Enjoy. All right. Take care. Thank you. Bye.